All right, guys, welcome to the future. This is Jim Pytel, your instructor for EET 121 Digital One at Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. Okay, today we're going to go over decimal numbers. This should be a review for you, anyone that's gone through kindergarten, and anyone that has 10 fingers on their hand. Everyone knows this. But we are going to use this to illustrate some concepts, very important concepts, about uh, numbers that we're going to be using for uh, binary a little bit later. Okay. Unless you're Jerry Garcia with his missing finger right there. Or, like my neighbor, you've got one hand. Okay. So we're not going to talk about that. We're talking about decimal systems. Uh, decimal systems, again, 10 digits, uh, 10 fingers. Coincidence? I think not. Um, as we all know, we're using the de decimal system here. We're not limited to expressing a maximum of 10, a quantity of 10. Basically what you do is you use uh, anything you want to say more than 9. You have to use a combination of two or more digits where the position is indicative of the weight. Okay, so obviously our digits go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Greater than 9, you got to start using two digits, 1, 0. Okay, so like I said, its position is indicative of weight. So for an example, 42. Okay, so this 2 here represents 2 times 1. This 4 represents 4 times 10. What you do is just, and that's 40. 2 times 1 is 2. So this is some complica complicated math. 40 plus 2, 42. Ta-da! OK, so that's, again, position is indicative of weight. Um, in decimal, the position is indicative of, uh, excuse me, position to the left or right of the decimal is indicative of the powers of 10, okay? So to the left, it's increasing powers of 10. To the right, it's decreasing powers of 10. So right next to the decimal place is 10 to the 0. And if you remember right, 10 to the 0 from ET111 is 1. Well, it's still 1. 10 to the 0 is 1. Just after that is 10 to the 1, 10 to the 2, 10 to the 3, etc., etc., etc. So to the right, 10 to the negative 1, 10 to the negative 2, 10 to the negative 3, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so um, basically the value of the decimal number is the sum of the digits when each digit has been multiplied by its positional weight. Okay, let's try to walk through another example here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so here's our decimal place. Let's go to just to the left of it. So that three is in the 10 to the zero spot. The two is in the 10 to the one spot. And the one is in the 10 to the two spot. Now we're going to the right of the decimal place, the four is in the 10 to the negative 1 spot. So 1 times 10 to the 2, 2 times 10 to the 1, 3 times 10 to the 0, plus 4 times 10 to the negative 1. Now let's make this even simpler. 1 times 100 plus 2 times 10 plus 3 times 1, plus 4 times 0.1. What do we get? 100 plus 20 plus 3 plus 0.4. Put a 0 there. Add them up. 123.4. Ta-da. OK. Oh my gosh. It's equal to 123.4. So again, the position of it is indicative to the weight. All right, so let's do some super quick examples. What is the weight of the six 
in, uh, let's see, 360. And 61,209. So go ahead and pause the, the tape and give me the answer. What is the weight of those sixes? Right now, pause it. Okay, what is the weight of the six here in the 360? Is, so again, the zero is at 10 to the zero, 10 to the one, 10 to the two. So we're looking for the six, the weight of the six is 10 to the one, or more commonly known as 10. So 61,209, What's the weight of the 6? Again, 10 to the 0, 10 to the 1, 10 to the 2, 10 to the 3, 10 to the 4. So that's 10 to the 4, or 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Four zeros after it, a 1. Okay? So the weight of the 6 in this one is 10,000, comma. Okay, uh, example 2. Um, express these guys, 56 and 4.67, uh, using this here. Show, show me their positional weights. Okay, go ahead and pause it now and do it on a piece of paper. Okay, we're back. 56. So, 10 to the zero. Yeah, first off, decimal place. We're going left. 10 to the 0. 10 to the 1. So basically, that's 5 times 10 to the 1 plus 6 times 10 to the 0. 5 times 10 plus 6 times 1. 50 plus 6. 56. Oh my gosh. Okay, this guy. 4.67. So to the left, 10 to the 0. To the right, 10 to the negative 1. 10 to the negative 2, so 4 times 10 to the 0, plus 6 times 10 to the negative 1, plus 7 times 10 to the negative 2, 4 times 1, plus 6 times 0 0.1, plus 7 times 0 0.01, 4 plus 0.6, plus 0 0.07, 4.67. Oh my gosh. Okay. As simple as this seems, this is going to be super helpful, healthy, healthy, helpful when we uh, walk through binaries, which we are going to do next lecture.